these are the pencils I'm using in this video. The first ones they're really creamy and soft whereas the last one is quite old and dry. You can use a pencil as a highlighter, I'm using mine in the inner corner and under the brow bone. You can use your fingers to smudge out the edges a bit if you think they're a bit too harsh. You can use the pencil two ways. If you use the tip, you'll get a much harsher line, but if you put the pencil at an angle, you get a much smaller and finer line. To draw the eyeliner, make a line following the bottom of your lash line. I like to make my eyeliners quite big, but you can make yours smaller if you want to. Then for the top line of the eyeliner, I like to follow the top of my crease. To fill in the eyeliner, I like to use the tip of my pencil. To make a smooth blend, I like to use the side of my pencil and I just keep running the pencil over and over again to make it a bit softer. For the tail of the eyeliner, I like to use the side of my pencil again, just brushing very lightly so I can get a fine tip. For a more elongated eye look, you can draw a little triangle in the inner corner of your eye. For a more dramatic look, you can apply eyeliner to the bottom of your lash line. I like to use the tip of the pencil first to mark out the colour, but when I need to soften it out, I tend to use the side of the pencil just to brush it out lightly. You can even use the pencil on your waterline. To use the pencil as an eyeshadow, I'm using one that's very soft and buttery in texture. I'm using the pencil all over the eye, but not much higher than my eye socket. Draw a line at the bottom of your lash line for a more complete look. Smudge the colour out by use the tip of your fingers. I use mine at the edges of the colour and lightly drag the colour inwards instead of from the centre and out. This way I keep the colour where I want it to be, but still making the lines nice and soft. I use more of my pencil in the outer corner of my eye as I want a more dense look there. This way I can kind of wing the shadow out a little bit as well. I'm 
adding some highlight to the inner corner and on the brow bone as well just to finish off the look a bit more. You can even use a different colour pencil just to add a bit of colour to the look. I'm adding this in the centre of the eye. You can even add a wing to the look just to make it a bit extra using the same pencil as before. I'm using the tip of my nail just to sharpen out the wing. For an eyeshadow base I'm using the crusty old dry eyeliner. I'm using this colour all over the lid. This works really well for darker colours to make them pop even more. Using the pencil as a base, it kind of works as a primer for eyeshadow. can add a winged liner on top of the eyeshadow as well. You can use pencils for details, but for this I'm using a small angle brush to do so. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful.